Guys, it's Shell, Sunbury Housewives. I am coming to you from the Hot Mess Express. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not really. This is what we're working with. So I hope everybody is staying safe, staying indoors, and I'm starting on my kitchen makeover. So as you can see, that is the Hot Mess Express. And this is my kitchen. I'm not gonna show you the full kitchen just yet, in the final reveal, I'll show you the mess. Anyway, my house was built in the, I think, early to mid 60s and everything in here except for my oven, which was replaced and it's in the wall. Actually, I'll show you the oven real quick. There it is. Anyway, um, we got that replaced. We got it at Habitat for Humanity for like 50 bucks. So anyway, when we first moved in this house um, over 20 years ago, the oven or the stove um, is built into our countertop and it, it works perfect still but 20 years ago I repainted it and um, it looked great and then about a year ago I noticed that it started chipping so I know what I did wrong but since then um, when we got the new oven um, of course your, your taste changed and everything but the oven is white and the appliances in here are almond color that doesn't really i just don't want almond anymore um what i would love is a brand new kitchen and have stainless steel appliances that ain't gonna happen but the oven is white so i'm gonna paint 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 the um appliances white so my awesome husband picked up some rust-oleum high heat this is where I went wrong the first time. I just got regular appliance paint, paint and that is why it's chipping. So we're gonna paint my range and my stove top. Um, the appliances before was that awesome 1960s brown. Um, why brown in itself might be some people's choices, it's not mine. So we're gonna go ahead and paint. I've already cleaned it and used steel wool to get off the majority of the peeling paint. Um, I cannot remove my burners. They are on there. For some reason, they won't detach unless I unhook wires and all of that. And I'm not that talented. So I have to prop them up and wrap them. So we're going to be doing that. And then I'm going to be sanding. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and then tape off. I am not concerned with taping up and plastic everything because in one of the next videos, these buttes are getting painted. So, um, and then my countertops will also be getting redone, which these are some other buttes. I mean, white for my for Mica with gold specks might be your taste but they're not mine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Again, here is an amazing view of my oven. And I've already done some of the, the work. It's nasty. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taping and we'll get started.
sweaty. So I've got it all taped up, sanded, wiped down, and now I'm gonna shake this really well. And I have a window open and I might, I might turn on the vent if I can get, there we go. The vent, hopefully you can still hear me. Hang on. I'll retake that. I'm gonna turn that off while I'm talking. So I'm gonna shake this really well and I'm gonna go over it with a light coat. Let that dry, go over it and with another light coat. Depending on how well that does, I may have to go over it again, um, depending on the coverage. Um, but I'm not gonna talk through all that because I'll have the vent on. I'm gonna just play some lovely music. But um, yeah, so let's get started. looking like this on to the second coat here is the final ish it's done there's the hood it's not perfect I had some issues but I still have to clean the burner cover things that is for another day because it's gonna take some major scrubbing and I want the stovetop to cure for several days before I do that. But overall, I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. If you have a ugly, ugly stove, don't be afraid to try it. It actually can transform without having to spend hundreds of dollars to buy new appliances. Thanks for watching. Yeah, ignore that. That's getting painted. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.